all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel it's been a while man your boy peas man it's been a while but we got we got a serious conversation to talk about honestly and i know i usually don't talk about my anime content on here but i don't know i'm just i'm gonna be making content for everything to be honest i'm gonna be making content for everything i hold near and dear to my heart what is that oh yeah that's what that is i'm gonna be making content for everything near and dear to my heart man if i want to talk about the wrestling talk about the music talk about the anime the sports all that stuff is gonna be talking about but today i just needed to get something off of my chest that i know a lot of friends especially my boy the saiyan sage is gonna be pissed about um I mean, it's it's the it's the it's the title of the video. Honestly, truthfully, Dragon Ball is not Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball as a total, overall, including Super, and the manga that I've heard about right now that's going on, is not top five. There is plenty of reasons why Dragon Ball Z is not top five. I know. Look. I, I can hear the boos already. I can hear people booing me right now. Talking about what? What the hell? Like he, you, you oh, bro? You are you are you are you dumb? But honestly, it's not top five, bro. If I want to objectively look at the best anime, it's the biggest anime of all time. Don't get me wrong, but the biggest does not equal the best. There are plenty of NFL players that are the best, but they're not the biggest. They're not the box office attractions. Clearly, you know what I'm saying? But, and that's the same for anime. Dragon Ball Z as a total, in all of totality of the anime, is nostalgic and iconic, but not top five. And my reasoning is, the main reasoning is one, power scaling and storyline, honestly. The power scaling in Dragon Ball Z, and no, you cannot argue the power scaling. It's it's just, it's ridiculous. It is honestly ridiculous what the power scaling is in Dragon Ball Z. Honestly. Because if you really just sit there and, and then, well, to go back, let's just start with the story. The story of Dragon Ball Z. Goku is a super, I mean, he, Goku is a Saiyan on Earth. Saiyans by nature grow exponentially stronger with each near death experience. With the with the Z fighters having sensu beans, Goku's going to get stronger every second because literally it goes the same thing and it's a lot of anime. Goku goes into a fight, well Goku and Vegeta goes into a fight. Vegeta is so prideful, he's like I'm going to fight him first. He gets whooped, then Goku gets whooped. Goku comes back stronger because of the sensu beans, and then he whoops the villain. In the most simplistic of terms, that is what Dragon Ball Z can be summarized as. And I do not mean any disrespect. Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorite anime of all time, but it's not, it's just not the best. It's not one of the top three best of all time. If you just if you want to look at things plainly, honestly, not even top five. I can see arguments for top five, but I don't think Dragon Ball Z is top five. And for me, again, there's gonna be arguments. I'm perfectly fine. Argue me your top five in the comment section, but how I look at it is this. Full Metal Alchemist. Storyline, Dragon Ball Z is not touching Full Metal Alchemist. The character development, the depth, everything about Full Metal Alchemist is just is is better than Dragon Ball Z. It's not as it, it it's it's nostalgic, but it's not as nostalgic and it's not as big. Clearly, Dragon Ball Z has the games, the movies. It's still going on, but Full Metal Alchemist was a absolutely complete series with no holes in the stories whatsoever. Absolutely none. There is absolutely none. Um, Hunter Hunter even though it is still not complete. Again, yes, I know people are gonna be mad, but if you think about it, think about how it's incomplete, it's incomplete, but at the same time, imagine what would it be like Berserk. Cause to me, I left Berserk off of this list because it's a real sleeper pick, but Hunter Hunter and Berserk, but especially Berserk, 
Berserk could have been the greatest anime of all time if it was finished properly back in those nine, back in the early I mean in the late nineties. It could have been go. It could have just been go. Hunter Hunter, the the premises of the story, the depth, the direction, the range of the show, the range of everything that encapsulates the Hunter Hunter, the the Hunter Association universe is absolutely genius. And Nen, that power scaling for Nen is one of the most, if not complete power scaling explanations in anime there is. The use of Nen. It's honestly just, it's just pitch perfect. A lot of people will be mad about this other pick, but I don't think you can be. AOT, Attack on Titan. Yes, it's one of the newer animes. Oh, recency bias. But at the same time, you can't also say recency bias on Dragon Ball Super because that, that's, that's still out, you know? It's still being made. But my thing is, AOT's storyline is one of, if not the greatest storylines of all time as well because of how convoluted and just dense and just thick and just you'll get lost in the story and you have to rewatch over and over again. Every episode of that show is meaningful. Every single episode of Attack on Titan teaches you something about the story. And personally, I am not a fan of filler. So if you agree with the Berserk take, you can leave that at you can leave that there. You can leave that as the top five. People gonna be a lot of people gonna be mad at my last one. Because person personally, I hate filler, but it story storyline wise, the range of the show, how just how deep the show is, how long the shows have been going on for and <sighs> characters are about the same they're both just stupid but if you could just guess it, it's it's one piece i feel like one piece is a better anime because it's almost it's almost as big as dragon ball z however i feel a pro is the story is better than Dragon Ball Z's story. The depth, the range, all that. However, there is an ungodly amount of filler. It's an ungodly amount of filler in One Piece. One Piece, ever, the anime universe, like these, these creators just need their butts whooped for this because how, why is there so much filler? Why is half of the episode the last episode and then that last episode is half of the episode of the last episode and so on and so forth and you only probably get like 10 minutes of new action in an episode if 10 minutes now granted it's gas but still like when when luffy wouldn't wouldn't get with uh when he hit that new gear when he became nika the sun god how many episodes of the same clips were we seeing before we finally got to the fights that's what made me mad but again, I feel like those, like those aspects of the show, even their, even their power scaling, those aspects of the show are better than Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, it makes sense, sure. They're like the the Saiyan race and the how there's the you know the multiverse and um, the Super Saiyan gods and you you've got the Z fighters and how. Piccolo became a friend after he was King Piccolo, like this demon that absolutely wreaked havoc on Earth, and Kami, and the Mechians, like of course Frieza, everything, like it's very nostalgic, it's great, it's big, but it's not the best. And then to me also, you can argue Bleach, like, well, correction, what Bleach is doing now, this really can throw Bleach's hat in the ring. This can really show you that if you if you have watched the new Bleach, this is straight up gas. Like this is a this is a, this new arc is absolutely amazing, and it's given us one of the biggest, if not the baddest villain in all of anime. Aizen literally has not been beaten. The, he's locked away. 
because you can't beat him. It's like, well, damn, like how, like he's so powerful. What do we got? Oh, we ain't, we gotta lock him up. Where is in Dragon Ball Z? What's going on? You got free, you got Frieza as like a, like you don't even know what Frieza is really now. You know, he was, he was this emperor conqueror that's killing planets, that's just destroying planets with his finger. And it's just now you got Black Frieza. I, this is like you looking at the totality of Dragon Ball Z is why I say you cannot say it's top five best you cannot say it's the best anime of all time you can't say it's top five you can argue it sure but over here no please don't think that way bro like I said I have se I have seven no I have six or seven anime that's like there and then Dragon Ball Z can be eight, seven, or eight. That's uh, it's blasphemy, you think, but whatever, bro. Because it, that's just how I feel about it, bro. And it's just like, yeah, it's sure. Everyone's like, well, what about what about uh, not my hero? What is it called? What about Demon Slayer? People say, what about Demon Demon Slayer's story is basic too. Every season, your boy Tanjiro goes on an adventure and trains under a new Hashira to defeat the next of uh, the next upper level the next upper rank and that's every season this season he's gonna be with uh he's gonna be with the flame hashira next season he's gonna be with the sound hashira next season he's gonna be with the snake hashira next season he's gonna be with the mist hashira you know it's just you you it's predictable plot points this is why i say you can't say certain anime are the best animes if the plot points are so predictable if it's predictable, it's got to be gas. It's got to be just straight up fire. And I mean, sure, Demon Slayer has just been that. But at the same time, not enough for me to have it up there. Because then you also have the other anime fans. Again, if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it in the comment section. Who say, oh, Cowboy Bebop really should be a top five. Personally, absolutely not. <laughs> it's good. It's a great show. But Samurai Champloo, no. No, come on, man. What are we talking about? I just, no. Absolutely not, bro. I, it's just, there are certain aspects of shows where you have to pull the, the favoritism aside and just look at, on paper, what's the best? Like, how, like, how is the character development? How is the explanation of the powers or strengths in these shows? How is, um, the actual plot? How is, you know, just all of these different dynamics that goes on with anime and that's why i feel like anime is just is just absolutely amazing because they make they make this is just so wonderful it is just so wonderful they can have like i love food wars <laughs> food wars is a show about cooking but they make it so crazy to where it's just like it's not just cooking man it's just there's a lot of different things with anime that I absolutely love about it, but personally to me, it's just, I absolutely love Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorites. It's it's in my top three. Personally, that I will go back and watch all this. Oh, I forgot about another anime I was thinking. Yu Yu Hakusho, I feel like, is a better anime than Dragon Ball Z. Yu Yu Hakusho, definitely. The, the plot point, the characters, the twists and turns of the show, you know, uh, how direct the episodes were. Now, granted, I mean, Dragon Ball Z was too, but it, it's just, it's just so, it was so many things about Yu Yu Hakusho that was a like, man, Yusuke, Kamehameha was coming out of his finger. He's shooting you with the spirit gun. That's just a Kamehameha out of his finger. Like, <laughs> like, what, come on, bro. This is, I don't know, man. And then he became the king of the demon. Oh, man. Look. It's just... It, it, like I said, I have shows that I believe you can honestly and legitimately say are better than Dragon Ball Z. Bigger? There's no... I don't know if you could argue, argue if there's a bigger anime than Dragon Ball Z. I honestly don't know if you could argue that. And... I just, I feel like I had to just get that off my chest today, honestly, because anime is such an amazing topic to talk about. I'm excited, you know, we got the new, we've got the new seasons of all the shows coming out, bro, like, 
I'm excited about Mushoku Tensai. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this, honestly. Um, I can't wait when we get the new My Hero Academia. I can't wait for Blue Lock to come back. I th oh, I think the movie's actually about to be out soon. I'm excited, bro. But again, man, let me know what y'all thinking in the comment section. Because to be honest, that's how I feel. Like, me looking at anime objectively, I just don't think you can call Dragon Ball Z top five. I don't think you can. Best. I don't think you can call Dragon Ball Z the best of the best. The biggest, sure. But not the best. Let me, again, let me know what y'all thinking, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll catch y'all later. Peace out.